I'm trying something a little bit different here today, so if you would, please let me know down below in the comments what you think. If you like it, if it's beneficial, if you hate it, what you'd rather hear me talk about instead. And today I wanna to talk about earning your living, healing the earth. So people oftentimes ask, what do you do? For me, this is my favorite question because I get to instantly talk about all the things that I care most about in the world, all the things that I'm most passionate about, that I'm actively working every day to try and create in the world. And so this simple question of chit chat that people use to get to know one another, it's an invitation to everything I want to discuss potentially with that person. I really feel bad for people that don't like that question, that hide from that question, that do something that doesn't leave them fulfilled, that doesn't make them happy, that they don't believe in. And we all need to do something to make a living. I mean, I, by all means, there's gotta be people doing unpleasant jobs. I wanna open up the possibility that this idea of a vocation, of a job doing something that you really believe in, that really leaves you fulfilled, is something that's really possible, that's really tangible. Something that I've accomplished. I make a comfortable living traveling around the world, helping other people improve their relationship with their landscape. So I'm helping really amazing people who are working every day to make a better world for wildlife, for insects, for plants, working for water, working for the health of our planet, for the health of our environment. And I get to help these people achieve their goals, realize the things that they dream about, that they want to create. So it's really incredibly rewarding. I get so much gratitude expressed to me, and it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of times that you're 12 hour days covered in mud and sweat and grime, but it's really fulfilling because I know all that hard work, I'm spending my life force energy on the things that I believe in. Now, for me, it certainly required luck, and I think you know, there's some element of luck in all of this. I was lucky to have my friend find a flyer of a workshop in Montana with Sepp Holzer. I was lucky to have previously, just before that, heard of his name for the first time and looked into him a bit. I was lucky that he was coming to the United States and to Montana and that it was at the perfect time in my development to be able to absorb and put into practice all of his teachings. And for Sepp, you know, he built this legacy of achievement. He created this Garden of Eden on Earth, this beautiful paradise that other people saw and they wanted him to create it on their place. So he developed his own livelihood traveling around the world doing what he does for other people. Now, it was fortunate for me to be able to build on his legacy, to be able to highlight his examples and have people want to pursue those and then have myself be the person to help get them there exactly what we're trying to create with water stories. New inventions, new innovations, they create new markets. We're not working in existing markets. There's not a market for producing light bulbs before the light bulb exists. And so these leaders, these visionaries have shown us the light bulb already. They've shown us how to store water in the earth, how to regenerate landscapes, how to cool the temperature and balance the climate, how to have really productive water sources and a productive and viable ecosystem. And so what we're doing with Water Stories is trying to bring that invention, bring that awareness to the world, to show everyone so that there's a lot of interest to get this work done. And time and time again, we see as soon as people are exposed to it, they want to move in that direction. They, something resonates as really true as this amazing potential that humans can co-create a really healthy, abundant, vibrant earth with all of the organisms that we share this earth with. So it's this really empowering message that people are really drawn to, understandably so, and we do it in one area, and then the neighbors see the results of that, they see how that landscape has more life, it has more fertility, and so it starts replicating and getting copied all throughout the region. So what we need is examples of this all around the world. And so that's what we're doing with Water Stories. We're putting the shine on these different examples to get a bunch of people interested in this work, interested in getting it done, doing it themselves, so that we can make this network for hundreds and even thousands, eventually millions of people to earn their livelihood healing the earth. 
it is possible. It is simple. It's reasonably attainable and it's something we all can do but we need to know that it's possible we need to share this new mythology with people we need people to understand that humans can be the keystone species in the restoration of the health of our planet that we have that power within us but if we just keep destroying we're never going to be able to realize that potential and we're bringing this all together under one hub at Water Stories so that people can learn, get trained, experience, build their own skills as a practitioner. And then when we send these people to different projects, people can understand that if they're getting a Water Stories practitioner, they're getting someone who really knows how to do these things, that they've shown on the ground and in reality that they know how to achieve results. So they can really trust and rely on that person. So if this sounds interesting, come and join us. You give this video a like, subscribe to our channel here, give us feedback in the comments, let us know what you'd like me to talk about. Is this helpful? Is this pointless? Is this a waste of time? And how can we best help you realize your potential? Because what we're seeking to do is really train a new generation of water restoration practitioners.